Hello, I'm David Wharton uh, from the University of New South Wales and I'm here with Noel Cressy of the University of Wollongong. Um, Noel is the author of um, Statistics for Spatial Data. It's a, it's a classic text on spatial statistics on most applied statisticians shelves, I'd say. Well, many of them anyway. Thank you. <laughs> um, I think it was first out in 83? Uh, no, 91 actually. Oh, 91. Yeah. Oh, well, and then well. it came out in revised form in 93. Fair um, enough. So, uh, in a sense, those 20 years are, are, are sort of telling because you're about to hold up the next one. <laughs> Statistics for Spatio-Temporal Data, right. released a couple of years ago with Chris Weichel. Yeah. Completely bloody different. Yes, yes, much better artwork. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, um, yeah, just like your whole sort of approach to spatial statistics has just been transformed over, over that decade. So uh, that's really the, the, those 20 years uh, between you know, the first book and the second book. I can't book. count, it's two decades. That's true. And, and so you, know, you evolve as a researcher and um, you move. Chris, who's my co-author on this, was my student in the middle of that period. And uh, he was a big influence on me as I was on him. And we then worked on papers together and he developed his own research program. Uh, I continued with mine, and, and so we sort of decided at some point, foolishly, six or seven years ago, to write a book together. And we signed a contract with Wiley that said that we would publish it within three years, and then six or seven years later, it came out. So everything on schedule. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I guess you'd, um, it's an, there's an emphasis on hierarchical modeling and, and sort of a Bayesian approach, which sort of just wasn't there um, in, the, in the early book. So I guess I guess sort of your your career and your textbook writing sort of career has sort of really bridged that sort of transition from from Bayesian analysis as being something which was quite difficult to do to being actually sort of um, uh, the other way around. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the early book, David, was uh, really an attempt to pull together the literature that was exploding in in what I would call spatial statistics. Um, and it was starting, well, it starting was appearing in all sorts of journals, um, in engineering journals, in ecology journals, and various places, not all of a uniform quality. And um, so I had the opportunity at Iowa State, uh, where I was at the time, to teach a special topics course in spatial statistics. And I chose, well, a special topics course in something. And I chose spatial statistics because of, uh, of a background that I had from uh, PhD days of looking at geostatistical data, random set theory and things, but never having done anything of a great uh, impact in the area, I just thought it's time for spatial statistics to become more statistical. And um, while that early book is 900 pages, and I don't recommend anybody read it from page one to 900, what I tried to do was actually establish a notation and demonstrate to the statistics community that they weren't all that far away from being able to do spatial statistics themselves. Um, so, you know, with the notation established and lots of research going on with various students, including Chris, um, the, the, the emphasis just became more and more on, on I guess, uh, less ad hoc methods and more something that was coherent. and. Um, while I was trained in a, in a sense in a non-Bayesian fashion, I think that people who think deeply about how statistics might interact with science very quickly come to the notion of some sort of hierarchical modelling um, and then eventually to the notion of Bayesian hierarchical modelling. And so the, the second book uh, was really a manifestation of all that research and thinking and philosophy and we wrapped it up into about 670 pages. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. So, is there anything from the first book that you still use? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I get into that book a lot. Okay. Because it was written um, as a way to establish not only notation, but really to talk about what other people have done in other literatures, but from my point of view, from my notational point of view. And so, when I uh, can't remember something that was going on, I often get into that section 
Um, and I wrote the first book, um, Statistics for Spatial Data. Um, uh, some, it, was, it was quite uh, what I would call voluminous because I wanted each section essentially to stand alone. So there was a quite a lot of repetition of words, you know. So if I got into section 6.1, I did not have to go back and read chapters 1, 2, and 3 in order to be able to understand section 6.1. And I think that's why it's had good legs. Uh, it's been out 20 years. It's still in print. You know, it's still selling a couple of hundred copies a year. Um, so I'm really pleased um, by... Publisher keeps bugging me for a second edition, and I tell him to push off. You know, I think that was just that was just my baby in 1991, 93 when the revised edition came out. I think uh, to do a second edition would require. Well, in fact, I don't think a second edition is possible. I think probably three books are needed uh, because of the explosion of the literature. Yeah. Yeah. So you said that it's qu it seems quite natural to approach uh, the, these sort of problems as from a hierarchical framework. Right. Um, and are you sort of thinking a Bayesian hierarchical framework as being sort of an, the natural sort of way to go in this sort of area? Um, I think hierarchical first. So I think of a hierarchical model. Uh, and then I think, well, do I want to go all the way and put priors on my parameters? Or am I willing initially to realise I don't have a lot of information about the price, so do I want to estimate the parameters? Um, there's been too much discussion about oh, am I Bayesian or not. I think the issue is, am I a hierarchical modeler or not? Um, I think we're in a 21st century now of conditional probability modelling. That is the essence of hierarchical statistics. Uh, and I think it isn't really about being a Bayesian or not. It's about whether you're willing to embrace conditional probabilities to do your modelling or whether you're going to stick with the 20th century, which is all about doing models based on marginal distributions. Um, and so that's quite a controversial thing to say, but, and, but I, I think it needs to be said. Uh, the Bayesian aspect is just the completion or the closure, if you like, of that conditional probability modelling, where deep in the hierarchy you put a distribution on the unknown parameters rather than conditioning on it and estimating them. Fair enough. Right. I think that's probably a great way to finish. So um, thank you very much. It's been a it's been a pleasure. Oh thank you, David. And I just want to add that this interview is being taped at the end of a very successful EcoStats workshop that David organized and he deserves uh, the thanks from all of us who participated and spoke. Thank you. Thank you.